The Aspatuck Land Trust preserves rest in one of the oldest parts of the original 13 colonies. The preserves include salt marshes on Long Island Sound, forests, waterways, ponds and meadows in Westport, Fairfield, Weston, and Easton. My name is Lissy Newman. I grew up playing in places like this. In fact, my parents, Joanne Woodward and Paul Newman, helped to make this particular preserve possible by donating part of the land that created it. My parents came to Westport in 1961, the year I was born. They loved the look of the land and the feeling of community here. Just around that time, a very important woman who also lived in Westport became concerned about these beautiful open spaces. Her name was Barlow Cutler Watton. That's a strong name, and she was a strong, wise woman. She saw farms and forests rapidly giving way to shopping malls and homes, ranging from small to grand. And while we certainly need places to work and shop and live, she sensed the dangers of overdevelopment. She worried about the threat to the Connecticut countryside. It was the prime reason that she and others founded the Aspatuck Land Trust in 1966. The Trust's mission, then as it is today, is to preserve and conserve open space for the benefit and education of the public. I wonder what Barlow Cutler Watton would think about how we've pursued these goals for the last 50 years. This is what clear-cutting a forest looks like. Powerful, highly efficient equipment. A grove of mature trees a hundred or more years old can be cut, stacked, and carried away in as little as a day or two. It didn't happen on our preserve because it can't. Aspatuck Land Trust forests stay forest. Our fields and meadows stay fields and meadows forever. In the early days, Aspatuck Land Trust focused mostly on acquiring parcels of land. Today, in addition to land acquisition and conservation, we're involved with land stewardship, environmental education, and nature study. Where possible, we create hiking trails so people can enjoy the land. We also support fishing, bird watching, and other forms of passive recreation for all ages. When we talk about stewardship, we mean the work Aspatuck Land Trust does to improve the land. A good example is the Saugatuck River Wildlife Restoration Project going on in our Taylortown Salt Marsh Preserve in Westport. Phragmites plants may look pretty, but the wetland here had become overtaken by this non-native but now widespread invasive plant species. By restoring the tidal marsh to the plants that are brackish water system, which is what we have here, you'll get more wading birds and shorebirds and seaside sparrows. It's not just important to preserve land, but it's important to properly manage the land. So we have a really fantastic land management team who is knowledgeable about best practices and employs them. Natural systems have been interrupted by man. They no longer really happen on their own. We don't have fires. We don't have the things that changes the landscape naturally. So we have to assist it. One of the things I like about being a steward for the Aspatuck Land Trust uh, is the sense of ownership, uh, which is ironic because, of course, the trust's sole responsibility is to hold this land for everybody. But the opportunity to get out there and get dirty and work on projects like invasive plant removal, uh, to work on projects like the removal of dam to really improve the land and restore it to its natural state gives me a great sense of pride. That's Mylon Bull and his dog, Edge. 
They're not just taking a walk in the Haskins Preserve in Westport. They're actually teaching a class on what might be called dog owner etiquette, rules for walking with your dog in a land preserve. Parents are really excited about our natural playground because it's a place where they can take their children that's outside, that's natural, that's in the woods, and kids just love it. And the kids are always changing things. They're transforming the playground. Every time they come, they're making a new fort or making a teepee or moving rocks around to create a fire pit. It's really fabulous. I think it's really important to become a member of the Aspatuck Land Trust because it protects the surroundings um, in which we live. It's a wonderful place for relaxation, for getting back and enjoying nature in our community. I think the, the thing that we also have to keep in mind is that every time you put in a house or a country club, you're going to also encourage uh, or end up with fertilizers and pesticides, all of which running down the streams and into the sound and then you know, go on to pollute that. As Will Rogers famously said about the land, they're not making any more of it. And that's the problem. People love it here. There is a secret here. I think the secret to the preservation is the involvement of the membership. This is not a bunch of people doing it for you. Uh, I've helped build trails here. I've been part of cleanup crews. I've been part of the discussions on introduction of some of the children programs. This is just such a blessing that it's here and it's preserved and it's just the most beautiful spot to hike in. Things like this just don't happen. People need to be involved. They need to be committed and you can't take for granted that it, what you see now will be here tomorrow. That's why it's critically important that we have a strong and growing membership base and the support of local corporations so that when land does become available, we can preserve it quickly before it gets developed. There's still large, beautiful parcels of pristine land in Weston, Westport, Fairfield, and Easton, and there's significant tax advantages to donating the land. But whether it's land or dollars or the wonderful volunteer support we enjoy, we need your help. I think Barlow Cutler Watton would be pleased with where Aspatuck Land Trust is today. But we still face numerous challenges to our conservation efforts, challenges that she anticipated 50 years ago. Help us continue her dream of preserving the disappearing beauty of Connecticut. Connecticut.